everyone, it's Mary Beth from MB Gray Designs. I am so happy you are here today. And I'm thrilled to be part of the Minis Challenge hosted by Crafted with Corey. So this month's challenge is a fall theme where we need to create at least three minis uh, with, that are fall themed. Um, and take a look at Corey's channel. She is amazing. And I'm sure you're probably already subscribed, but if not, please go check her out. She will be listed, her channel will be listed in my description box, as well as the playlist of all the amazing creators that are participating in today's challenge. So here's a quick snapshot of some of the DIYs we're going to be doing today. Um, I think I did a total of five and six, including the, the uh, galvanized tray, but I put that at the very end. I'll talk about that in a minute. All right, so the first DIY are just some simple little pumpkins that I painted. So I got, <laughs> there's a broken one. I lost a little bit of footage, but I used agave um, for that first pumpkin on the left. And these are ceramic pumpkins that I got for a dollar at, at a family fair or Dollar General, I apologize. I cannot remember. However, I dropped that one and that's plaster, the color plaster. But I used my little glue, used painter's tape, and it worked out just fine. I don't think it ended up in the pictures, though. But I did grab this foam one that I also got at Family... I keep saying Family Fair. My apologies. We have a grocery store here in Omaha called Family Fair. It's Family Dollar that I'm talking about. So I painted that in plaster, and then I just went ahead and took truffle and kind of just uh, dry brushed on both the pumpkins. I left it really simple. And that is all I did. So these are very easy. Now, in hindsight, um, and I'll probably go back. Um, I think it'd be cute to, like, put a little ribbon around the little uh, stump of the pumpkin stem, rather, um, or twine or something like that. So I may go back and do that um, and dress it up a little bit. But this year so far, I've done a lot of... Um, pumpkin redos with Dollar Tree pumpkins. It's such an inexpensive way to really make, I think they look high end, a little ceramic pumpkin like this. I mean, you know, at Target or something would probably cost more than a dollar. Um, all right. So moving on, look at this adorable little truck I made. <laughs> Again, got this wooden truck. It's pretty thick um, at Family Dollar for a dollar. Uh, that's hard to say. Anyways, so what I did is I took agave, but I did mix in some of the plaster paint. Um, so it's a little bit of a lighter color, and we painted the truck, we, meaning me. And then I made, again, this was really simple. Um, I did make a cute little, like, wooden thing. I don't know what to call it that goes kind of on the truck bed. And I used a popsicle stick um, and cut it. It was so simple, but that footage to get lost, but I promise it's really easy. I just took a popsicle stick, cut it at the length of the truck bed, cut it in half, and then used two teeny sticks to um, kind of connect it. You'll see what I'm talking about. Um, and I also used the white paint pen from Dollar Tree. Can I just say... Oh my goodness. It was the first time I ever used it. That is an amazing little paint marker pen thing. Um, I think I'm going to use it now right there. Holy cow. I do a lot of art as well. I don't film it, <laughs> but I have a lot of products that I have spent some money on. This is amazing. So I would highly recommend this. Um, they have gold, silver, and white that I've seen. I hope they come out with more colors, but yeah. Oh my goodness. It is amazing. So if you have not tried it, I would definitely, definitely pick up one of those for a dollar. Um, and yeah, so I just wanted to put a little bit of uh, detail there. There we go. A popsicle stick cut in half. <laughs> and then one of these little, kind of like a coffee stir. And I just cut little pieces to, to do the connector pieces. And that was it. And so I do apologize. That part of the footage, I don't know, I lost. Um, I think those are the only parts I lost. And yeah, and then I just glue this onto the truck bed. Um, and I thought that was super cute. And then you'll see me take a uh, one of those sunflower, um, what are they? They have a little metal wire thing connected to them. Pick, I don't know what to call it, but um, I took one of those and I took a little bit of um, truffle and just kind of 
aged it up there a bit and I ended up cutting off the little wire piece and just hot gluing it to the door. And that was it. I thought it was so cute. Again, the, all these are super simple and you can do them really quickly. And you know what? Uh, make some cute little decorations for your tear tray this year. All right, so this pumpkin crate. So um, this little crate, you can buy the egg crate material of these at Hobby Lobby. This one is a like a hard plastic one. Um, you'll see, I'll show you right here. And for the life of me, I cannot remember where I got it. I have a bunch of them. I use them for organization, like in my, um, cart and stuff. Anyway, um, so I just painted it plaster, but again, you can get that exact same cart. I don't crate, whatever you want to call this thing, fruit basket thing at Hobby Lobby. And it's in the material of what an egg carton is, you know, and I, I think I have some of those as well. All right. So I just painted it, took some ribbon, wrapped it around. Super, super simple. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I had some pumpkins that I already painted from a previous project and just filled it up. I did end up um, using some raffia kind of fill in the bottom, which was a hindsight, but then I put it in here um, just to fill it up a little bit more. <clears throat> so yeah, again, really simple. I think that's the theme right now for me on this video. Um, and yeah, there you go. I'm putting the raffia in, trimming it up and throwing those little pumpkins in there. And again, those pumpkins, which was on a previous video of mine, I'll try to put a little playlist together of my fall videos that I've done thus far because um, there's a handful of them and then that way it might be easy for you to to watch them um, but it was from one of those anyway uh, yeah so that was that now moving on DIY four. Um, this is a Dollar Tree jar that I got at the Dollar Tree <laughs> it's just a little clear plastic jar with that cute buffalo check lid um, and so simple. I literally hot glued some twine, wrapped it around, used one of those cute little sunflowers again. That was it. And I filled it up with, there's a bag of um, uh, little goodies of like little pine cones and these little uh, rustic orange colored pumpkins. Um, little doodads, I guess. <laughs> little fall doodads. There you go. Um, and so I just filled them up and put them in there. Now, I thought what would be cute is to like use a wooden bead or something and put it at the top of the lid. I mean, there's definitely so many ways you could dress this up. You could also use these cute little things for storage, for your little craft supplies. So again, all of these DIYs are just inspiration. Um, kind of get the creative juices flowing, right? So yeah, this one was super easy. Now, I do wish that I um, used the truffle. I'll go back and do that um, and dry brushed on the sunflower because I kind of like it, uh, the, the more aged look of that, more rustic look. So I need to go back and do that. But yeah, this little bag is so cute. It came from Dollar Tree. Um, and yeah, just fill, it perfectly filled it up. So it was great. It was like it was made for it. Um, and there you go. That was that. All right, we have a lot to discuss here on this next one. <laughs> oh my God. So, hear me out. <laughs> Please know this is inspiration. If you make this, you will make it so much better than I did. I saw a bunch of the, I think it was on Pinterest, the mason jar lid pumpkins, little rings, you know. I thought, hmm, I could do that with shower curtains. Oh my God, I struggled. There are probably a hundred ways to do this that are much better than the way I did. I almost didn't put it in here, but I did because again, I, I want you to see my mistakes because hopefully then you'll do better than me. That's the whole goal here of this channel um, is to provide inspiration and to also, um, you know, give you ways to make it better than mine. Um, so the first thing I would have done is I would have cut off the... Uh, it's hard to explain, but at the top of the shower ring, I would have cut the little knobbies off um, and made them flat and then hot glued them together. You will see, I'm going to hot glue it together, but I didn't use snips and cut those pieces off. They were the biggest pain of this whole thing. The, the, were the, you know what I'm talking about, right up there. I don't know how to describe that. Um, so if I would have cut them 
flushed the main ring part, I think that would have made it a lot easier. Okay, so then I'm like, well, I need something. My voiceover got cut off, but you could use a cable tie. Um, I didn't have one that was long enough. I had the mini ones. Anyways, so I'm fiddling around. I'm going to fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. And basically all I'm trying to do is make it kind of round to look like a pumpkin. And then I dry brushed it with some truffle. I hot glued a stem in and kind of pushed it in. It helped with stability. Um, right there, you'll see that. And then it pushed it all the way down. So I did use like another stem piece to make um, the stem of the pumpkin. And, but the cute part of it is I did dress it up a little bit. Um, I made a bow and I made, and I used some of that beaded wired garland to go around the stem. So you'll see all that. I'm gonna let you watch, but, um, after this, I believe, um, I show you making the tear tray. I put that at the end because a lot of people already know how to make one, but in case you don't, or you just like to see how I made mine, um, <clears throat> I wanted to include that. So, I want to thank you all for being here. And if you are an existing subscriber, you already know I'm so, so, so grateful for you. And if you are new to my channel or coming over from the playlist, I am so excited you're here and I would love to hear from you. So please leave me a comment. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'll let you guys uh, watch this and I'll catch up with you uh, towards the end. To reach some kind of goal How many dressing up for me to play some ball Seasons change Still the same range What will it take? Tell me why the way Up and down I'm moving around Get your way Use 
full tricks Once you get the taste of it You lay all them bricks Higher and higher You'll reach your desire Um, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your support. And thank you to Corey for hosting this monthly challenge. It's so much fun to do. I wish everyone a happy, happy weekend. Goodbye.